I came back to this church again, and this time they were doing something just for the youth. So they asked me to come and do a sound for them. And I like this setup there, even though it's nothing fancy, but it's not crammed all together in one spot. There's plenty of room. Here you can see Reaper. I'm recording multi tracks on Reaper, of course. And if you look closely at the iPad that is on the table, what do you see? Mixing station. This is not for me. My tablet is on the right side. This is the church iPad. And I was really happy and excited when I saw that the house guy actually had mixing station running on his iPad because he was still using the M32 edit app from Music Tribe that barely works anymore because they don't update it. And each time I go there, I'm like, look, look what you can do with this. You can click here and do this and that, and you can customize and you can do stuff. I'm just planting the seeds in his mind. So I just showed him the app twice and what I'm doing with it. Third time I came, he had already bought it and is running it on the church iPad. He ditched the M32 edit app. I like this guy. He's not stubborn. He actually wants to use the better tool, not just grab onto his opinion and keep using the old broken tools. Not only that, but I also showed him that he can use Reaper to mix the live stream and send it to OBS over the network. And he also liked that idea. He hasn't done it yet because he's a busy man. But I like this. I get excited when I see people actually wanting to do the better thing, not just it's fine, it works, leave it alone. I don't like that mentality. There's always something to improve and that doesn't mean that you have to spend a bunch of money and buy a ton of gear to take your production to the next level. No, you can actually learn how to use your current tools because what you have is probably already enough. But sadly, I see a lot of people who just don't care to improve, don't want to put in the work. When I propose ideas to them or suggest how we can make something better, they're like, why? This makes me sad. Enough ranting. They had acoustic drums on the stage. This made things a bit challenging because first of all, the place is not acoustically treated. And even though I tuned the speakers properly, having live drums with no enclosure just out there forces you to push everything louder because the drums alone without microphones, without going through the PA, you can hear them from the back of the church. And I tried to tell the guy like, hey buddy, I know you're excited, be excited calmly. And he started laughing and told me you can't say that to a drummer. So of course, in the middle of the songs, he got really excited and started smashing the drums. And this not only affects the house mix, but it affects more the monitors and the people on stage. Because if you have a live drum set next to you, how can you hear yourself through the monitor? I have to push the monitors really loud. So that makes things even worse. However, they were happy. They None of them really complained. They were very cool and chill about it. Something else I was doing in the studio is I was using the M32 mixer to record. And the previous day we had recorded the session, everything was fine, saved the scene, turned off the mixer, went home, came back the next morning, turned on the mixer, connected my computer, and I'm about to start recording. And when I hit play, all I can hear is just white noise shh, like this. I stop, it stops, I hit play or record again, the noise comes back. And this really confused me because literally nothing changed. The same settings on the mixer, the same settings on the PC. So there was no reason that this would happen. But I thought to myself, okay, maybe I did something wrong. So I start checking all the settings in Reaper and all the settings on the mixer and troubleshooting. And I even opened a new session and tried to do the same thing. The problem remained. I initialized the mixer and plugged the microphone again and did the settings on it and routed again. Same thing. And I started getting really frustrated because if there was something wrong, I should be able to see what it is by now. And I also had the talent sitting in front of me. Now this guy, I've been working with him for over a year and a half or maybe a little bit more. So we're kind of friends. I'm not too worried about it, but still I was feeling a little bit of pressure because 15 minutes has gone by and we haven't started recording yet. At the end, I didn't know what to do anymore. So I just turned off the mixer, turned it on again and everything works normally. I felt so stupid at the moment because I could have just turned off and on the mixer from the beginning and not waste all that time. So sometimes the solution is just to turn it off and back on again. It's not always something complicated. But this honestly disappointed me because we were not stressing the mixer in any form. It's not like we're working with it under the burning sun and doing I don't know what with it. It should just work. I'm using it as it is intended to be used. Not too long ago, I was using my own personal M32C with the, the L32 stage box. I was doing a conference in a hotel and there were many sessions in the same day. So after the first session, I turned off the mixer for the break. And after the break came back before the second session, turned it on, the entire mixer 
is initialized. Everything is zeroed out. This should not happen. Now I had saved the scene. I never go do something without saving my work, especially during sound check and setup. Every few steps I save the scene. And had I not done this, I would have been in big trouble because I know some people who don't save, who just work and at the end they save. And I don't blame them because the mixer should hold the settings even when you turn it off. So these were two incidents where the M32 mixer under normal conditions did what it was not supposed to do. This honestly disappoints me because if I was using it in a very stressful environment, very harsh conditions, maybe I would expect because I'm doing that, I could have caused it. But these things happened under very normal conditions. So yeah, a computer is a computer. Even if it looks like control surface, it's still a computer inside. But it should be more reliable than this. Also, I want to mention that these units that I used are not very old. Yes, I know the mixer was released a long time ago, but these units were maybe one year or two years old at most. So I don't know. Has your mixer ever bugged down on you? Did something happen? Did it crash on you? I've seen some people where the mixer completely turns off or reboots. This never happened to me, but these two other things happened to me. I am considering the wing rack. It's a very attractive option at the moment because it also has the headphones outputs, which is a big win to me because I always prefer to reduce stage monitors as much as possible. But I currently don't have anything to justify buying it. And I'm also not very sure that it's that much better than the M32C with the DL32 stage box that I have already. I think that's enough complaining. Back to work.